Hello. In the previous exercise, you learned to sort the data in a NumPy array. Given that we know how to do this, we should thus be able to plot the cumulative probability distribution that was introduced in the video on statistics and probability theory that you watched at the start of this series of exercises. In this video, we are thus going to revise what was covered in this video, and I'm going to show you how to write a program to calculate, to generate the cumulative probability distribution function for a data set. As was discussed in the previous video, if we are given a data set such as the one shown here, we can always sort the data into ascending order in order to make sense of it. As you can see, in this sorted list, each pair of adjacent results, xi and xi plus 1, are either the same or xi plus 1 is, equal, is greater than xi. As was discussed in the previous video, sorting the data is useful, as by looking at the value in a particular index, we can make a statement about the whole data set. For example, the data set here has 100 data points. If we thus find the 50th element in the sorted list, we can say that 50% of the points in the data set take a value that is less than or equal to this number. Alternatively, if we take the 25th value, we can say that 25% tw that of the data points are less than or equal to this value. We can, in fact, draw a graph like the one shown here that has the index of the sorted list on the y-axis and the outcome um, on the x-axis here. The result is that the quantity shown on the y-axis of this graph is the quantity indicated by the mathematical expression shown here. The values on the, the y-axis are the percentage of points the capital X's, that are less than or equal to the particular small x value that is shown on the x-axis. We can thus see that roughly 20% of points are less than or equal to naught, 40% of points are less than or equal to 1, and so on. What is plotted on the y-axis is a quantity known as the cumulative probability distribution function, the probability that capital X is less than or equal to small x. How do we write a Python program to plot the cumulative probability distribution function, however? Well, to answer this question, let's consider a data set with fewer points. The numpy array called data here has only five data points, which is more manageable for visualization purposes. Notice also that I have used a command you haven't seen before here to set the five elements of this array directly. This command may be of use to you in the future. Now, as data is just a numpy array, I can sort it using the sort method that you have just learned about in the previous exercise as shown here. If I thus print data now, you will see that the order of the elements has changed and the array is now in ascending order. Within the matplotlib plot command that I've used to make graphs of the that I will use to make the graph of the cumulative probability distribution function, I will thus use the numpy array data, which is now sorted, for the x coordinates of the points in my graph. The y-coordinates of these points are computed as following. The y-coordinate for the first data point, which has a value of 0, is 1 fifth, because only one of the five points in the data set is less than or equal to naught. Similarly, the y-coordinate for the second point is 2 over 5, as 2 of the five points in the data set have a value that is less than or equal to the value of the second point in the sorted array. By the same logic, the y-coordinate of the third point is 3 over 5. The y-coordinate for the fourth point is 4 over 5. And the y-coordinate of the final point is 1, 
as every point in, date, in the data set is less than or equal to the largest number in the array. We can write the code to generate these five values that is shown here. The final graph is then plotted using the usual plt plot command. Hopefully that is relatively straightforward. So good luck with the exercises and as always ask if you need help or are confused.